This is String Theory Garage, a unique temple of performance dedicated to the desirable art of making cars drive better. And this is Ben, a European drift champion with over 15 years of working on cars and supporting GT racing teams. Ben just so happens to be the founder of String Theory, and we're here today to give the GR Yaris a whole lot of love. You know, like, uh, it's very easy to tear the interior of a car out, put a roll cage in, tear the engine out, put a different engine in. Sure. Like, yeah, it goes fast, but you just ruin the essence of the car. Uh -huh. So over two years, we've been doing just like bits and bobs and trying to refine the magic on every little bit to try and get the most from the least. What would you say has been the biggest sort of aha moment or... You know, I, actually, you know, it don't need to be a dramatic change. If you just tweak this and adjust it, that. It sounds ridiculous. The seats, the height is the thing that everyone bangs on about. Yeah. Now, right, yeah. old French cars have these plush seats that support you and feel buckety. And actually, they're just made of foam. Right. And that's exactly what that is. You sit in and you go, oh, this is a really good seat. Then you go on track and you go, yeah, and you this fly is a really good place. seat. You know, by the time you, you put the seats in the car, you drive to the end of the road and go on your first roundabout, and you'll be like, the steering's different on my car. I can feel understeer or oversteer, or, and I'm talking driving 30 miles an hour. Right. All of a sudden, the feel of it jumps out. That was reinforced, actually, the other day. We had a customer with a GT4, yeah. a comfort spec car, and he was like, oh, I drove my mate's RS, and it felt less floaty. Is there any way we can do that to my car? And I was like, Change the seat. Less, less, <laughs> less floaty. What do you mean, less floaty? And he was like, I don't really know. It just felt floaty. I don't really know why, but my car feels floaty, and my friends doesn't. And I was like, Probably just you're at, you are literally floating you are on the company seat. physically moving around yeah. inside that like you, seat. Like you yeah. literally float yes. on that seat. I guess if you look at the extremes of it, there's a reason you have a fitted bead seat in a race car. That yeah, of course it's glued to the profile yeah. of your torso. So these are actually string theory sort of yeah. developed seats, yeah. right? Obviously, it's the same, the same shell. Uh -huh. uh, we have done some what I'll call refinement work with Cobra on, on the rails and the runners. We've made them perfect. They fit perfectly. Basically, they're ordered with some, nice some specific stitching. So like the standard seats, everything, that, uh, all of the stitching is colored. We've specced it so that it matches the factory seats perfectly. So like, funnily enough, right, if you came to me and said, oh, I just want to do track days in my car, but I don't want to change it. I just want to keep it like so I can put my family in it and stuff. They don't look ridiculous next to the standard seats. Yeah. I've seen shots of your seats yeah. in a car. Yeah. And I, I'll, and no disrespect to it, they look right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they, exactly. They, th those, when you see them, they don't look right. Not really. It's really they're a bit but, frumpy, aren't they? Like your car is going to have uh, Alcantara steering wheel and gear knob in it. Mm -hmm. So you'll have Alcantara steering wheel and gear knob with all the leathery bits. And then you'll have Alcantara and leathery mm -hmm. seats and it'll all just fit. Brilliant. Okay, so seats are a big one. Yeah. Really excited to experience that. Have you had any customers complain about not so much the pedal placement, yeah. but the gap between the brake and the throttle means you're literally old school heel towing because sometimes my foot falls between the two of them. You need to put some of your new trainers on. When I'm not hard driving, yes. when I'm road rev matching, because yes. you don't really need to do it that hard on the road, but it's a nice process isn't it typically on a road drive i'm doing a, a roll yeah, rather sure. than a no i agree you know, like i i do exactly the same yeah. it's not really heel and toe it's, no it's, it's, it's ball it's, and it's, other it's, ball exactly foot. it's sort of edge and edge of foot and i'm finding that in order to get that rev match the edge of my foot here where the, the pedals are placed from factory is so on the edge this might segue nicely onto brakes if you feel my brake pedal and yours yeah it's they yours are quite. dramatically different <laughs> <laughs> yeah having felt this um i'm surprised i made it here this morning if i'm honest with you uh, our our brakes are beyond gone actually on these cars for pure function only, mm -hmm. stock brakes work very well. Mm -hmm. But when you go and give them a hard time and you drive them on track and you yeah. use them hard, yeah. they start to feel quite wooden, quite long. They yes. never actually fail. They're an amazing braking system. Right. I don't feel like there's need for huge upgrades. I was gonna say, when, you, when you've lived with um, a stock car for a while, we've done 20,000 miles in that now, yeah. and you get in it and you start to add up all of the nuances that you tweak. Yes. And what was music to my ears when we spoke was, you said exactly that, right? It wasn't a revolution, yeah, it was an evolution exactly. of components that probably become greater than the sum of their parts. Yeah. And that's brilliant. Yeah, exactly. So we've chosen some bits and it's great. It's, there's one thing seeing it on our site, but I love seeing it all. Let's start with the discs. Some shiny things. It's, it's the shiniest thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They are made of a significantly higher quality 
steel than the factory discs. The significant thing is you'll run your aggressive pads with this, mm -hmm. you'll do your track days, and they won't, they won't wear out. You won't get a groove in them. It's, so. I think the word confidence is the thing I'm looking to engineer into it. Yeah. And that brake feel, as soon as I felt the oars, I was like, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. That right yeah. there. Yeah. So as part of the brake upgrades, you do yep. braided lines. Braided lines. Fluids. Fluids. Okay. So actually, uh, we carry all the factory fluids to these cars. Once you've done discs, Yep. pads, lines, I would use your standard Toyota fluid. An upgrade fluid is a good thing if you have a problem. At this point, the car will have such phenomenal brakes, right. there will be you no problem. You don't need, need to run like a race fluid. Leave if it works, it. Don't fix it. leave it. it work. But we'll flush it so you'll have, you know, everything will be fresh. So you put higher boiling point fluid in because you put mega pads in, mm -hmm. you go and drive the car hard on track, everything gets really hot. The reason you want a higher boiling point fluid is to deal with that heat and not, not boil. Mm -hmm. But another way to, to work, work in your favor is shield the entire system from heat. So obviously there's still surrounding heat, but literally the pad is touching the pistons in the caliper. So if there's a, a, barrier a heat barrier, them. yeah, the heat transfer is way reduced. So basically these go in behind the pads right. and form a heat barrier. Here's my marketing spiel on this. Here's some QVC stuff. What, what, what is the space shuttle covered in? Is it titanium or other, some other form of metal? <laughs> or is it ceramic? <laughs> so what's gonna, what's gonna block the heat the best? This stuff. This stuff. What's in the, in the what, shiny spring what, theory What's in box. the box? Some springs. Boingy bits. That's what I refer to them. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> so you have GT3s. One of the things you can do on a GT3 is adjust ride heights. You can corner balance the car. You can do all that cool stuff on a factory car. When we first had a Yaris, we realized loads of guys who own these cars or who are buying these cars come from Porsche world. Sorry to interrupt you. Mm. How proud are you to have your own it's brand? It's cool, isn't it? It's cool, yeah, Look it's really that. cool. How cool is that? It's so, it's so cool. It's, it's almost cool a shame to stick it under a car, really. Wouldn't mind having one of those on my desk. Uh, they're a proper Looks thing. Fun. Look, made by a proper company who make proper it is, things. It is a proper springy thing. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're made, made by Ibex. So Full on Ibex They're system. not like a Chinesium. No, <laughs> Chinesium. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little over a grand. Mm -hmm. Fitted, corner weighted, all set up, done, dusted, or you can just order it online. Uh, and it comes with setup instructions and we include a little sheet that tells you, you know, some ideal settings for a starting point. Right. Yeah, basically this is, this is a cost effective way of a significant performance upgrade without ruining the car, mm. but keeping it, keeping it like a Yaris, not rewriting yeah. the rule book. We can get really techy now. Let's do it, man. That's what we're here for. That's We've been speaking about ceramic shims, for God's sake. Yeah, let's, I let's know, go exactly. deep. Let's go deep. That's that standard car in here has obviously your, your shock absorber with uh -huh. a shock shaft and at the top, there's a, a chunky bump stop. From factory, you're only 20, 25 mil-ish off touching the bump stop. And, and it's designed that as the car settles, you know your cars sort of feel soft and then they roll and they kind of mm -hmm. go, oh, and you always feel them. You mm. feel more noise in the cabin, you feel like yes. the tires are gripping and it's happening. That's you going into the bump stop. Right. So that's it settling down into it. So our spring kit offers a few things that you can do. So we can lower it a bit close to the bump stop. Mm -hmm. So if you're tracking the car more, mm -hmm. while on the road, you'll find it stiffen up more aggressively. Mm -hmm. On track, there'll be less movement. Even if you leave it at standard height, which you can do with the kit, yeah. because of the higher spring rate, so you can have like stock behavior, but sharper feel, or you can lower it and make it have less stock behavior. So it's more focused. Uh, or if you're a complete tart, you can wind them all the way to the bottom, throw the bump stops <laughs> in the bin and have a slams GR. Although that's not, that's not intended purpose of the kit, but you sure. know, it gives, yeah, you, yeah. it gives you the option if you're, sure. if you're fitting it to do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Our, our springs are progressive rate springs. Mm -hmm. Now at ride height, as you go into rebound travel, so as, uh -huh. as we are here, you drop down, the spring rate basically gradually returns back to stock or slightly below stock. Mm -hmm. So when you're going down your bumpy, potholed, horrible road. Let's say you have a coilover kit that has just a linear rate spring with no tender, no helper, no secondary rate. Mm. Uh, it makes it way more aggressive because what happens is it just pushes down until it stops travel. So it's like, right. Uh, 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 uh. You have a short spring that takes half the force to compress it all the way as the main spring mm -hmm. requires. Still, all the force required to compress it all the way will compress the main spring as well. Mm -hmm. So you get like a smooth transition. Right. It doesn't just go, Half, yes, bang, full. Sure, it goes, yeah. passes through it, and so the springs have been developed using that that ethos. High bang for your buck, low cost product, relatively speaking. Yes, but the idea is that it offers some significant performance change and improvement through some real thought. And that is why we're here. 
What do you so think, think about this? What do you think well, about that situation there? It's funny, right? I have a funny feeling that perhaps some enthusiastic driving has resulted in that hitting the ground and being torn off. I probably underestimated how much time I would spend in the car. Yes. Uh, as I mentioned, 20,000 miles. So it's, you know, it, it gets used and it's not just me who drives the car. The whole, no. this, the whole team drives this car. Yeah. And so it gets used and at the, I mean, now it's really max power. Right yeah, now. now it's horrendous. And yeah. now it's absolutely horrendous. But even when it wasn't like that, when I, like, I tested all four pipes yeah. and I opted for that one. So it was my yeah. choice yeah, yeah, off, off a proper test. Anyone. But after spending time in it, you're like, I should have probably gone a notch down. Okay, pipe number four, rev time. It does sound like you're about to launch off a rally stage. Like, it is pretty cool. So this thing here effectively connects this to this. Yeah, so no and, it, and so I've been sounding max power circa 2001. Yeah here, sort of sounding, really bad, and yeah. uh, it's not good. Come on, let's go out Come from on. under a car. Mm, let's have a feel. Oh, it's amazingly, uh, almost every video we do, there's always some weight context, and it's yeah. very hard to convey on camera, but take it from yeah. me. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, it's so light. <laughs> it's yeah. so light. Yeah, but at the point where you're just gripping really your though. fingertips and flinging it around. I mean, it really is ultra light, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's amazing. Good thing. amazing. It's, it's perfect. So yeah, when it comes to us retailing products, we can retail a, a, yeah. an Akrapovich exhaust to anyone. Sure. No one's yeah. going to be unhappy. No, absolutely. They might be a bit unhappy when they first pay the bill, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. they, they, they won't be unhappy in any other way. So you have some super cool Evo course wheels, okay. right? Do you do you remember the Lancia Delta Integrale? I do very well. It's, Funny that. It's pr well, that's probably why we went for these wheels. Here we go. <laughs> the reason we the reason we chose those was because it looked like a rally wheel. Yeah, that's it basically does. it. And well, this I mean, is a little rally car. So, here, here's the cool thing. Go on. This doesn't look like a rally wheel. This is a rally wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they are Italian. They are Italian rally wheels. Rally wheels. They Very are literally delta. tarmac rally wheels. But you know, you can go and drive these over curbs on circuit, you can well, put them through potholes. they've a bit of weight to them, haven't they? Yeah, which they're, is, they're, right. Which so, is counter to what I'd normally in, look for, in, but. In, 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 in life, you can have, you can either have quick, yes. cheap, and bad, or you can have slow, cheap, and good, or yeah. you, you know, you can't yeah, have a combination for of everything, sure. yeah, right? Yeah. You can buy wheels that weigh nothing, that are really strong, that do everything. And hyper expensive. And you know, it's a custom set of forged wheels from, mm. from in fact, these guys, either of course, will do you some, yes. but they'll cost, Four times the price. It'll be a five grand set of wheels. Yeah. They're not heavy, but they're not as light as the standard wheels. Mm -hmm. But they are indestructible and they look cool yeah. and they fit nice and the paint finish is nice and the quality, you know. Yes. You, you will literally go and take the car on track. You smash will run some curb. curbs on the Nurburgring. You will take it down a country road and smash through some potholes. Yeah. And, and, and anyway, regardless of any of that, none yes. of that matters. Just looks they cool. look amazing on the car. They and look I'll so be, cool I'll on the car. I'll be straight up with the audience. That's why I chose them. Yeah. <laughs> I think as well, the aesthetic of a wheel, it's funny how an aesthetic says genre. You yeah, know? it does. And yeah. because of the, the, the original intention of the car was yes. to go into rally, what a shame it didn't. Yeah, I know. What a well, shame it didn't. It's, it's also got that retro sort of Lancia vibe about it, and I just thought it would suit it, it does, well. It does. So this will be the first time that I've tried the Yaris on Cup Twos. Yeah. So I've done twenty thousand miles on 4S, which as an all-rounder has, has been amazing. Yeah, they're unreal. It's a road tire. Yeah. So 4S, they're unreal on the road. Yeah. And actually, you know what? If you wanted to do like hill climbs or sprints oh, or really? anything, where you don't even have to yeah. warm the tire up. You just get in the car and go. That's they're so unreal. Good. And water displacement. Is yeah. Like as a wet tire, they're amazing. Exactly. So like. Michelin know how to make the best road tire for road driving. Yes. And then you've got that the slightly more super tires. ultra sports tire yes. that won't kill you on a road and all the track is... days. Now, the way it works is really, really, really simple. See, it's a constant thickness mm -hmm. all the way along. Mm -hmm. Now imagine Imagine this is a straight bar. Forget the spring shape. Mm -hmm. It's just a straight bar. If it was from here to the other side of the workshop mm -hmm. and you put your finger on the end, you'll bend it. Mm -hmm. If it's an inch long, You're not gonna... you won't bend it at all. Yeah. That's how a spring works. Right. Nothing to do with anything other than how thick the wire is and how long 
the spring is. To begin with, this spring is in winding. Let's call it 100. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And when you close that, it becomes 60 uh -huh. long. Yes. So your, your, as that closes and the spring becomes shorter, uh -huh. it becomes stiffer. Yes. That's how a progressive spring works. So on this application, it's progressive in rebound. So you put the car down on the ground, your functional wheel travel up and down in your normal usable range is basically <coughs> just fixed mm -hmm. spring rate. But when you get really big rebound, mm -hmm. you know, when you're having a lot of fun, it goes a bit softer so that it would be borderline impossible to package it with a solid fixed spring rate anyway, all the way to the top. If mm. you did, it would make it much more aggressive all the way through its rebound travel. And on a standard damper, it would start to make it kind of bouncy and not drive nice. Mm -hmm. Whereas this way you can go stiffer and your rebound travel remains friendly. So anything past that, you'd want to get to upgrading these then? Yeah, yeah, basically we've, we've tailored these to work nicely with standard damage. So, shiny things. Shiny things. Shiny things. So we can now imagine how much light they are because they're on the car and we haven't actually <laughs> felt that, which is <laughs> silly really. So yeah, everything on this is from Tarox, discs, pad, lines, the whole lot. Uh, solves a system that all works together. Well, you're going to be tracking this car, aren't you? And you're yeah. going to be using it for tracking it. footage. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be using it a bit more seriously. We're going to be using so, it. We're going to be taking it to the ring. And generally, when it does get driven, it gets driven pretty swift. Yeah. And uh, we just want the reassurance of good pedal feel, better stopping power. Yeah. So you've got you've got everything in that kit. To be fair, there, there is one downside. You'll have to warm the brakes up a bit more than to to feel so sharp, but it's I'm sure right. that you'll... Uh, it's quite okay. I'm sure you'll yep. be able to warm off a bit. Part of the so. process. And then we have... New springs in. New springs are in. Yep. Very cool. And then ride height, once the new wheels are on, we're going to yeah. make it similar, but slightly lower. A little bit lower. Yeah, like, brilliant. Like, I love you. your stance, it's great. It's somewhere around 10 or 50, well, it's a bit, a bit more, it's probably about 15 to 20 mil lower than stock, maybe right. 15 mil, which okay. is enough to get your performance advantage from mm -hmm. lack of pitch and roll, but not so much that it spoils anything. Sure. So we'll do something similar for you. All right. and, and the beauty is that if at any point you do turn around and go, hey, look, my balance of use has changed and I'd like it to be a bit more like this or that or the other, mm -hmm. just like if you set up your GT3 and it was too low to go in your driveway, mm -hmm. you can always change it. Sure. So we're now, we're now at a good, a good point. Excited, Ben. Yeah. So uh, the system that we're we're putting on the car for you yeah. uh, is an Akrapovich system. We're leaving your factory particulate filter in place mm -hmm. simply because it makes it fully road legal. Uh, it'll be a bit quieter for your track use. Yes. Uh, it will literally tick all the boxes with no downsides. And it just goes straight on. And it goes straight on. It does. Ha it uses a clamp instead of the factory two volt fixing. That's the only change. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, it's totally. OE from here forwards, factory, right. full, legal, Great. normal, everything works. Yes. From here back, a Krapovich. Nice. Yeah, it's, nice I mean, it's there. maybe a bit excessive for a, for a Yaris, but no you know, it's thing, cool. <laughs> full on afterburners there. Yeah, it's, it's, great. it's awesome. We are just getting started with the mods on the GR Yaris, but it's been an educational journey hanging out with Ben, who has one of the best minds for car setup that I've spoken to in a long time. And while I am investing in parts for the car, it's actually refreshing to be applying as much value in Ben's knowledge as we are in the right equipment, thanks to String Theory's experience. Tune in for the next episode where we check out the new stance, hear that new exhaust system, and try and find a little bit more power.